Doctor, many people get prescribed prescription drugs. Some are very powerful and, and some can be dangerous if not used properly or even if used properly. How much does the patient need to know and are there concerns with a lot of the drugs that are prescribed? Well, Scott, how many, how many patients a year do you think die from properly prescribed drugs? Properly prescribed. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about improperly, with probably more. And that were used correctly. But from properly prescribed drugs, well over 100,000 people. 100,000, okay, 100,000. Just mm -hmm. imagine, die every year from properly prescribed drugs. We hear all over the news if there is a supplement or an herb that made one person sick and one person died from an herb, and the Congress jumps on it and mm -hmm. the FDA. Over 100,000 people die every year from properly prescribed drugs. Now, of course, the patient needs to be well educated about the side effects, but these are properly prescribed drugs. The best thing is try to avoid drugs when you can. That's the value of holistic mm -hmm. medicine, of integrative medicine. And we have to remember, the pharmaceutical industry, which drives these drugs, have no interest in healthy society. I mean, it's their nightmare. Mm -hmm. If we all became healthy, it's their nightmare. Mm -hmm. Our wish to make people healthy is the pharmaceutical industry's nightmare. Why would they, why would they do things that will make people healthy? People will need less drugs. They make their money by people being sick. So there's a huge conflict of interest between the health industry, the ins medical insurance industry, the idea of making people healthy, and the drug company, which needs people to be sick in order to make money. Mm -hmm. Huge conflict of interest. And when the supplement industry is very different, it's health-driven. You know, if you, can you look, a lot of the educational materials, a lot of the education that the public has, the pub it is available to the public, is promoted by different organizations that are, re are related to the dietary supplement industry. So this industry, side by side, side by side with the dietary supplement that they offer, whose quality is getting better and better, they offer education that promotes health. There is a synergistic effect between people being healthy and the dietary supplement. The goal of the dietary supplement industry is to make people healthy. The goal and the focus of the pharmaceutical industry is to treat sick people. There are some drugs that are developed for rare, rare illnesses where there are a few hundreds of people, a few thousands of people, but the cost is huge. And it's important to help these people. But the basic theme, the basic philosophy is a problem. And when we use so many drugs and there are so many side effects, it's almost impossible for the doctor to know all of them. That's why now there are more and more databases for toxicology. It's computerized that when, when, when it's going to move in the future to a place where when a doctor prescribes a few drugs and he does it through, you know, through a, an, an automated computerized system, if there are dangerous side effects, they will show up immediately because the doctor cannot remember all the side effects. But what to do about it is know what you're taking, try to stay away from drugs as much as possible, while realizing that, that prescription drugs can save life. They're very important in the right time. But there's really no way around it. Some drugs are so toxic that you really will ask yourself, how come you know, they're even approved? We actually know, Scott, that when you have a new drug approved, when you see a study about the positive effect of a, of a new drug, especially in oncology, this is one out of five studies. Four studies that show negative results are not shared with the public. Only mm. the positive ones are. It's very well known. You hear it from a lot of pharmaceutical executives. And it's, it's, it's how they get drugs approved. And that's why very often you get drugs, especially in oncology, but also in other areas, that get great results in clinical trials, which are not the way we live our lives. They're very isolated. It, it's a scenario which doesn't match the daily life situation of the patient. So you have these clinical trials with great results and you can't mimic the results in life. First, mm -hmm. because they may have published the positive studies and have not published the negative study. And second, the situation is not the natural situation. And there's another point. 
that I always was curious and wanted to actually do a study on it, but it's too much energy and too risky. Many clinical trials, all the clinical trials, don't allow patients to use supplements, dietary supplements or other mm. treatments while they're on clinical trial. And I know for a fact, in my experience in integrative oncology, that almost all the patients who go on clinical trial for oncology drugs do other treatments. And it may very well be that the results you're seeing in a clinical trial are not because of the drug, they are because of the other treatments. But the patient is afraid to tell the doctor. I was, was curious about going to such patient and, 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 and promising not to disclose which study it is, who they are, and maybe publish it only after the clinical trial is done, just to show how biased is the clinical trial. Because we rely on clinical trials. It's a, you know, it's a golden standard. Very different. Mm -hmm. you know, it's an issue. It's, it's a big issue. And the outcome, of course, is prescription drugs with a lot of side effects.